uh, welcome back to my channel this is Uku Africa uh, today I want to give you a video here of a house tour here in Kindu Bay Onenonam village you know today <laughs> I'm not in Kisumu today so I've traveled all the way from Kisumu to Kindu Bay just to give you this amazing uh, content of a multi-million uh, bungalow here in Kenya that is Onenonam village so with me, I have an engineer who is going to introduce himself later on. Uh, he will be taking us around, give us a, a host tour, and tell us uh, more about this house. I'm engineer Ronald Regan. Okay. Thank you. How yeah. are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Regan. Yes, sir. Uh, what can you tell us about the house behind us here? Okay, there's so much that we can discuss from mm. the material, from the design up to... Uh, what you call the budget, the real locations and everything. So you work with the Starlight? Yes, I work with a company called Starlight. Starlight, currently, oh, okay. For this project. Okay. Is, yes. Uh, mm. And uh, this is one of, uh, of our pioneer projects for mm. this year. Mm. Uh, we started it uh, last year, but the major works began this year. Mm. And we are very particular about this house because mm. it's one of the unique designs that we've ever come across for a bungalow. Mm. And many people were very, very uh, optimistic about the design that we sell and by God's grace and uh, by our engineering works, we mm. managed to bring out the architectural design as it were on the paper and now it is on the ground. Okay. Uh, particularly the design that was chosen by, by the client is not very very familiar with Africa basically. The design is familiar with Chinese country and also uh, you find it some, some of these in U UK and people are very very pessimistic about whether we'll be able to replicate the same on the ground mm. but, by, but as you can see the work is still going on but the structure is on place and we're just only working on the, on the, on the finishes as we speak. Yeah. Yes. So for this particular house uh, obviously, the budgetary allocation of for this was very high. You know, engineering uh, uh, terms, we talk about budget and talk about quality. So for this, we were looking, the budget was not an issue because the client was willing mm. that we may bring the, the uniqueness of this uh, design out. Mm. So we brought the design out at the expense of the, of the client. And again, we are looking at the, the viability of this project. Mm. We've used some of the best material, as you can see. We are using a, a, what you call lifestyle uh, roofing sheets, or normally in local language you call them decra, but mm. uh, they are called lifestyle uh, from MRM. It's one of the best, uh, uh, one, some, one of the best in the market right now for roofing materials. And uh, when we look at um, the, the the stonework that we've used, we've used uh, what you call machine cut stonework from Narok. It's one of the best in the country and East Africa by extent. So that is what we've used to come up with the design. And we've done a lot of structural works. And some of them you cannot see as we speak. Just come, mm. let me show you. So guys, we are going around. We want to see. just check the house. Engineer Rigan yes, is sir. taking us around. Just come with me. Yes, okay. it's still working. But as you can see, mm. uh, all this, uh, the, this the, 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 the main door. The main door? Yes. Yeah. So this is what we have. But if you look here, you will be seeing some pillars. These are beams. Actually, these are structural work. Mm. This is purely structural. No, no machine work here. Mm. We did structural work. And then we have this open here. This will be all glass. Mm. Aluminium foils and glass. Mm. So that this place will be beaming with light. Mm. And the same, you mm. can apply on this other side. So we have two similar doors. <coughs> Uh, so this is the main door? Yeah, that is the main door. And this one? This is also door. No, okay, okay. Yeah, this is another door. Uh, opening. Uh, and now it is for luxury here because we love it. we'll be having a porch, entry porch here. Okay. So yeah, yeah we'll be having parking on the other side, so that makes that the main door. Uh, the same we apply here. We love glass all over here. And then we have the door here, as you can see. So this is where we've reached so far. Uh, uh, if you like, I can take you inside so that you can see the rooms and you can appreciate. Maybe you can take me around first, okay. then we get inside so, as we as we talk. Okay, mm -hmm. come. So as I was saying, mm -hmm. for this particular design, mm -hmm. so there are areas where you see the roof is almost uh, is almost to the ground. For example, here. Are these windows? Are these the window? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the arch for the Because I've seen several of them here around. Yeah, so this I... is what you call a covering for the window, or we call them the arch for the window. Okay. Just to make the design more more appealing, or mm. a, a, what you call aesthetic beauty of the house. Okay. Yeah, we'll rather, instead of having a normal window without this covering, mm. we opted for this so that the house will be more appealing to the eye. And mm. 
to the so, design. Okay. Yes, to satisfy the design. So on this other end, this is one of the uh, the faces. Mm. You can see we have windows here, but mm. these particular windows are different from the other ones. Those ones are triangular windows, mm. but these ones are rectangular, but they are very long. At the same time, they come uh, uh, alternating from the height. You can see this. So to achieve this, you have to apply different uh, kind of beams, or we what you call lintel, to each window. And as you can see, each and every one of the windows has, has their own beam mm. that carries the window still. So we have we have triangular beams here. Oh. These are triangular beams, and then on top of each window to carry the load that is up, you will see there's a there's a small structural element that, that is also what we call a lintel or a beam. Okay. Depending on uh, how you want to call them. So mm. this for this case, mm. you come this at the end. We have you can see here the roof is now very high. The gable size is now very high. Yeah. But uh, we have a particular window here. This is a, a window designed for for the washroom. Washroom. Yeah, it's here. And then if you come again here, you mm. find another window which is now triangular. Mm. The, the ones that were on, uh, on the other end. So this is uh, another particular design. Mm. But as, as I said earlier, mm. we have this covering for the, for the aesthetic appeal of this end. Okay. And so if you come this end, you'll find now, now the, the roof design changes again. Mm -hmm. Now the roof is now lower. Lower. Yeah. Compared, the, compared yeah. with the other side. Eh? Yeah. Because uh, if you look at this, this is what you call scattering. You can see the difference between this uh, rendering work and here. Mm. This is what you call the, the scattering. So it means that this is where the floor of the house begins inside. So oh, so that is the floor. Is, yeah, this is the floor. The difference in height is. Because, Let me ask you. Yes. From that end to this from, end, yeah, yes. there's a foundation. Yeah, this is a foundation. Wow. Because we have height difference between the la the land the, the 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 terrain the landscape of this place oh. there is a uh, level difference so you okay, find that okay. when you are you are on the ground on the other end mm. if you bring that level here <coughs> you find a difference of, of almost two meters so oh. this is what you're seeing here mm. so basically this is foundation stone you understand okay so the, the the floor on inside is starting from here where the cutting is showing so it means that the roof is almost to the floor as oh. you can see okay yes so this is a design different from the other end but now this we have all compiled them together to have a unique design that we have here mm. and then we have this side the same we are still working on the, on the rendering work as you can see we are not yet finished so it is, it is a work in progress but you can see this is another end where we have the gable end but with a with a with a triangular with a triangular uh, window okay yeah. Yes. So, uh, so guys, we are still going around yes, to show you with the engineer uh, who is taking me around the outside of the house, how it looks like. By the way, it's so beautiful. I like the structure. Yes. Yeah, it's so beautiful. What about this side? So this is uh, also uh, kind of unique on its own because the other side you find there's a gable. This side you'll expect a gable, but no, it's not a gable. Mm. Actually, a standing window on its own, mm. the its own covering. Okay. So this is what brings out the uniqueness of the design. As mm. you can see, we are still working on the plastering, uh, the, the rendering work of our space, mm. but uh, the roof is, is finished. You can see it's a ceiling. And then we have again, we have a section here. If you look at it <laughs> from outside, you will think that it was cut, but now this is just yes, the, the uniqueness of the design. Oh. We have a, a section here for the washroom, and you can see the window for the washroom. Again, uh, as I was saying, you can see the scattering is here. It means that our floor is here. Okay. And the roof is also almost covering the floor. Oh. So this is another side that we you, have. You, you said which type of, what would you call this type of roofing? Yeah, this type of roofing, mm. this is um, uh, the, the roofing sheet, we call it DECRA, mm. uh, in local language, but the, the, the terminology that is used in the, in the, in the factory is called lifestyle, lifestyle uh, roofing sheet. Okay. But the kind of roofing that we have is a combination of what you call a complex roof, because oh. we have sections that are, are uh, gable and sections that are hipped, okay. depending on, on the way we are used to the design. Okay. Now this is another section where we have the roof, uh, we have what we call a gable side. Mm. The gable side, have, uh, the, their heaves are very uh, extensive. They are extended outside to bring uniqueness. Normally, you will find an offset of 600 or 800 from the from the wall. But now, for us, we decided to come up with a unique design where you find that the the offset is two meters from the wall, from the top from the top ridge. 
But when you're coming down, you'll find that the offset is decreasing up to around 450. Uh, when I say 450, I mean millimeters, 450 millimeters here. So you find that from the, from up there, we have two meters, and from up to down here, the difference from the wall is 450. Okay. So that will tell you, that will bring out the uniqueness of the roof, because now you'll see that the roof is like slanting, but it's not sl slanting in one way or another. So that is what we are working with there. Come to this side, the same, we have a section that is dedicated for the washroom, and it, it, the, the section is hipped. If you want to, if you want to be able, it is not uh, complex, it's just hipped. Okay. The same applies this side, we come here, we have the main, the, the main roof, which is the, the biggest roof, coming down up to a level where we are talking about 1.1 meters from the, from the floor, because this is the floor. As you can see, this is the, cell, uh, the ground slab, and now we have 1.1 meters from here. And we have your room. Uh, this is one of the, the most uh, exciting parts of this of this house. Uh. Uh, you will see that this section, of, this is the section of the kitchen. We have the the gable side. The gable side. And so this section is the kitchen. Yeah, this uh, from the inside. This is the kitchen. Oh, okay. Uh. Uh, now the face we are talking about. Uh. Uh, you will find that now. Uh, we have the gable area, mm. the gable side, but now the gable, uh, uniquely, this side the roof is very high, around one four point six meters from the from the floor. But this other side, you find the roof is almost only six hundred meters or millimeters from the floor. Yeah, so this is where the the design comes up, where somebody can literally touch the roof. You know, it's very interesting. Mm. But you'll find that the roof is not touching the ground actually. It's almost to the ground, but it's not touching the ground. Now, what we'll do? Many people will question that whether whether this roof will be able to touch the, the water from the roof and everything. Now we'll have a gutter, a gutter pipe here, okay. where where the, the gutter will take the, the water from this uh, this ridge, from this valley, I mean, up, uh, and we'll be doing a ground tank. So the, the, the pipe will take the water and take it to the ground tank. The architect uh, designed it this way. So there are two reasons. One, it is the design mm. that, that the architect had designed it. The architect had intended that it would be around 600 meters from the ground. But now because of the offset, mm. which, which is 450, it means that the roof will go lower. Secondly, we have uh, the ground. The ground, as I had explained earlier, mm. the ground, the slope of this ground, this side is half higher. Mm. So it means that when you're doing uh, a 200, meters, 200 millimeters from the ground, it means that the ground will be up higher. Mm. Taking our roof lower to the closer to the ground that it ought to have been, okay. but basically this is the design and this is the the, the mind. So of the in, sh in in short, yes. the reason why this this house uh, uh, some section of the roof is, so, is too low and others are not too low, mm -hmm. it is because of uh, the the level of the ground. Yeah, two things: level of the ground and the design. Okay. You find, you find a particular section was designed uh, differently, almost uniquely from the other side. Okay. Yeah. So this is the last part. We have we have our window here, mm. the kitchen. Mm. The, same, the same way as I explained, we have our covering the window, mm. which makes it a very unique uh, unique uh, outlet. So yeah. maybe we can get inside. Yeah, you said this is now the main door. Yeah, this is now the main door. Let's see inside, eh? engineer. So this is the main door. Yeah, this is the main entrance. Uh, yeah. We have the main entrance. So you still have a lot of work here. Yes, uh, we have just done the plaster. We have not done the floor. Uh -huh. It is work in progress, and uh, hopefully when uh -huh. we are done, you will come again and show the show your guys how uh -huh. we we've, we've done the, the the interior work. Okay. So, so we have the main entrance here. This is the main entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have uh, this place will be will be glass. We'll do glass all uh -huh. and then we'll have a glass door here. Mm. So this this will bring light. The reason why we did this because we find that our our this the place that we are in is the launch. Mm. Um, what you call the living room, mama for <laughs> for a similar uh, simpler term we call the sitting room. Sitting room. Yes. So the the reason why we have so much uh, area that we will be covered by glass mm. is because of lighting. If you look in, mm. you see that we don't have much windows for the for the launch. Oh so yeah. Three, windows, but now this a glass section we serve at the windows to bring up in light, natural light from mm. outside mm. the launch. And that is what is uh, that, that is what informs the design mm. for these two particular doors to have mm. the same. Mm. So now we have the launch, it is a very big launch, it's mm. around uh, five nine nine meters by seven meters. 
this thing. So it's a very huge launch, mm. but within the launch, uh, very, within the launch, you have a section here, this section, mm -hmm. as you can see, we will serve as the dining section mm. within the launch, but this whole area uh, will be the launch. Mm. We will have a section for the dining area, and as you can see, the, the, the way our roof is, the roof is almost inside here, you can touch it from the inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah so when we do a finish, we will uh, we'll be able to cover it, but this section will be remaining, so it will be a unique design. Okay. And we do a finish uh, paint for the... For so the what room. about the other side? So we have an opening here. This mm. opening will lead you to the open, what we call an open kitchen. So this is our kitchen. The open kitchen, yeah. Yeah, it is an open kitchen, you can see. That's two windows, this side and this side. And then we have uh, cabinets. Worktops here. Our worktops, yeah. Okay. All this area will be covered by worktop up to mm. this end. And then uh, we'll have a washing machine here. And then we'll have a section for the for the refrigerator. Mm. So this is the this is the kitchen. It is a, quite a huge kitchen. We'll have a, 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 a sitting top here where somebody can enjoy their drink or anything mm. as they, they work on their food in the kitchen. What about this one? Yeah, this, this is the pantry, I'm at the stove, what we call the kitchen stove, mm -hmm. the pantry. It's uh, quite okay for, the, for, the, for this house, it's, the size is okay, mm -hmm. as you can see. It's a good one, it has its own window, very unique, and the roof is okay. And then we have an opening to outside from the kitchen. The, what so this is the back door, door. Yeah, that will lead for the, the area okay. where somebody can have their laundry outside there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Uh, you will have seen that, so please come with me and we'll now go to the uh, uh, bedroom. So this is the main, uh, uh, main living room yeah, the for the entire house. For the entire house. Okay. So if you get here, mm. you call the, the corridor. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. How many rooms do we have here in this house? So we have um, what you call this is a, a four bedroom bungalow. Bungalow, okay. Yeah. So if you talk about the rooms, we'll talk. We'll be talking about the bedroom in reference to the bedrooms. So we have four bedrooms. Okay. For this uh, bungalow that we're talking about. So when you get here, immediately on your left, what mm. you find is what you call common. Washroom. So this common, is common washroom. washroom where mm. your visitors will be able to use your, your common washroom when they are pressed from the living from the living room or from the lot. Mm. It's a good one, it's special, it has everything, mm. uh, and we'll be able to connect them obviously when we are done. So on your right, if you take a step on your right, you will find a walkway hallway here mm. where we intend to the client, depending on his preference, we will have a space here where you can do his study or whatever he wants to do. But there's a huge space here for anything that somebody would want to do. You love to put your services here, connect uh, whatever work laptop. You will find a lot of light, a lot of uh, fresh air from this window mm. that is up in this area. So if you can come with me. Uh, yeah. So to this extent, we come to this extent where we have our three unique windows. Mm. We have a room, which is the, uh, the, the first bedroom. This is not the main bedroom, but the, the first bedroom out of the, the three okay. bedrooms. Mm. So we have the, it's a special bedroom. I will have your window to be here. This is where we do the wardrobe. Already the layout is there. It's only the fixing of the wardrobe. So your bedroom is quite huge, you have your main area here and then you have a space here where you can do whatever you want to do. You can do your studies or whatever you like to do. So you have all the space that you require. And the window is also so big. Yeah, we have a huge window. We have actually two designs. We have this window and then we have these other windows. So oh. light is not an option, it's not a problem in this room. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So the washroom for this room is here. So this is the washroom. Yeah, this is the washroom. Where we have a So each and every room. Uh, yes, actually, this bedroom four and bedroom three they share this washroom. The, oh, okay, yeah, okay, share, okay fine. I rooms, thought maybe each and every room have. Uh, the others have what you call the 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 other two bedrooms are empty. What you call they are empty, but this one they share this washroom for these two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you find that uh, we do a shower. Shower equipment here, and then we have the, the, the WC. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, this is what you call the third bedroom. Third bedroom. It's uh, bigger than the other one. It's larger than the other one. Mm. Yes. It has one window, but one huge window with a lot of lights. They share that washroom. I explained earlier. 
Mm -hmm. We have the wardrobe area here, mm -hmm. and then we have the bed area here. Okay. So within the bed area, we have a uh, point for power, there and there, uh, after the finish, I hope you will come and take a look at it. I'll come, I'll come. Yes, so so, so guys, I'm just, they, they always notice that finish, as you can see, right? Mm -hmm. I'll come back, guys, I'll come back when the house is finished. Yeah, yeah, so that you can also see the other video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, I'm just, they, they always notice that finish, as you can see, I'll come back, guys, when the house is finished, so yes. that we can also do another video. Meanwhile, let us just go around and see the interior. Yeah, so that they can at, at least appreciate the process of, of work. Right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so this always leads to what you call two measurements. I, li I, li I really like the the space here. Yeah, we have Even the, the other one, this one. Yeah. yeah we have space here. You don't, you don't have to squeeze yourself when you walk yeah. with your furniture or anything. Mm. There's a lot of space. Mm. So if you come here on your left. This is another room. Yeah, you find a bedroom. Uh, this is quite big. Big bedroom. Mm. So this is what we call bedroom too. This is an NC bedroom. That means. It has its own uh, washroom within the bedroom. As you can see, it's very huge. You <laughs> like fit three rooms wow. almost in here. And then you have your washroom for this bedroom. Yes, it's a quite big one. I will do a bathtub here. And then we'll do also a shower equipment for, for the same. So whoever, if you don't like the, the bathtub, you like the shower. Okay. Yeah, so this is that. This is one, this is the second largest bedroom in this house. Mm. Now, guys, come. Uh, uh, so now to our main bedroom. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this is so huge. So this is the primary bedroom. Okay. It has two sections of the wardrobe. wardrobe. So we have this section here and here. And then we have another one here. For, for what you call walking closet. It's designed how you call it. So this is uh, this section for the primary bedroom. There's two huge windows, as mm -hmm. I uh, shown you earlier, to bring light, natural uh, light. So the big section will be here. But it's, it's the preference of the client, the way to the to fight, then it'll be, it will be done. Okay. And then it has its own, uh, what we call it, washroom. So we call it an all instant bedroom. The washroom also in this main, main bedroom yeah, is also big. Yeah, it has its own washroom, mm -hmm. and it's nice. So guys, don't be kidded. Like uh, we are not in town, we are in the village, deep in the village. <laughs> so if you see something like this in the village, you tell you that the clan really, really went out of their way mm -hmm. to ensure that this house is in place, this bungalow. So as I explained earlier, mm -hmm. you can see now how close the roof is to the, to the floor. So this is the main bedroom. From outside, you think that the, 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 the roof is far from the floor, but it's very close. Mm -hmm. The difference is around 1.2 meters only. So this is the uniqueness of the design of the house. Of course, when we are done, we'll be able to do the ceiling area, what we call the gypsum, and cover this area nicely and do some lights. But I, I hope when we're done, within the year, uh, sir, you will come back and show them. So I'll, 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 I'll do that, I'll do that. So, uh, Mr. Regan, yes, sir. this is such a, a, a big project. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, and the house is so beautiful, I like it. Yes, How I wish I have, uh, I have money, I could have also built mine, like this one. No, I and mean, I'll, I'll yes. call you for you to design my house. Eh? So guys, this is the how the interior of this bungalow look like. So big, the rooms inside are so big, so beautiful. On the village, eh? yeah. yeah. Uh, the owner already have installed uh, a tank. Uh, there is a bowl w with the solar system. The solar is pumping the water from the bowl to those tanks. So. I like the how all these have been installed. So this is how this bungalow look like here in on, on, um, village uh, in Kindo Bay. Such a beautiful place, beautiful house, uh, a beautiful neighborhood. Yeah, there's another house over there. I think people living in this area are they are doing well in terms of finance. <laughs> so Regan, yes. engineer. I believe as an engineer you know how much I've been used here. Yes, that is obvious. So yeah. far, how much do you think this guy have used? So, so far what we've spent, uh, if you calculate the material and, and the labor for that have been used, for, so far we are talking about 11.2 million Kenya shillings okay. up to this point. But uh, of course we're still working. So it means that when we will when we'll be done, the figure is expected to go higher than that. Okay, you, 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 you have already... Uh, 
uh, I mean, you know your expenditure. Uh, so, how much do you think uh, this guy is going to is going to cost this guy to complete this house? Complete everything up to what we call landscaping and everything. We're talking about full house. Now, now he's now getting this house, living good life. What I mean, when Starlight will be handing over this project, mm. uh, we are looking at a, 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 a cost... A approximation. Approximation of around 17.5, wow. 17.6 million Kenya shillings that will be used to complete everything, up to installation of water water system and everything. Uh, everything. So we are talking about 17.5, 17.6, uh, they are about. I like the house. Yes. <laughs> and I, do, I don't even have a, a million with me, so... <laughs> Let's you are say. talking of 17, 17 million, you know, I'm um, kind of, uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> how will I get that kind of money, surely? Uh, it does not mean that you must have the same thing design. You but I do, I, 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 the house is giving. Yes, yes. Yeah, I do like the house. I like how the roofing is, it have been done. And I know this house, by the time it's finished, it's going to look so good. Yes. And yeah, and uh, I, 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 I wish I also have such a house. Yeah, Guys, I, I I'm in love with this house. <laughs> I need the, such a house, you know. I I'm tired of paying rent. Yeah. yeah, I just need such a house, such a beautiful house. I, I, in short, this is my dream house. Yeah, I I, I wish I also build such a house in my uh, hometown area. Yeah. So, Regan, with time everything is possible. So uh, don't uh, worry. Don't okay, you still very young. So, so you are an engineer. Yes, I'm an engineer. And by the look of things. You have done such a good job right now, yeah, and the house is like uh, around fifty percent complete. Ah, it's seventy. We are seventy. Okay, so maybe someone want to want you. Yes. Uh, someone wants you to do such amazing, amazing job that you have done here. Yes. Uh, how can that person get you? Okay. Uh, Thank you. I'm Engineer Ronald Trigan. I have my telephone contacts. Mm. Uh, you can find me. You can either call me or you can email me. Uh, my email is uh, Ama. You can email my company. I have a company, my own company, mm. obviously, where we do these works. So, uh, currently, this project we worked with Starlight, but I have my company called Modi Realtors mm. uh, Construction Company. I'm a construction limited. Uh, you can find me at www.modirelators.com or you can email me at uh, modirelators at gmail.com or you can call me or call our office line. We have 07 10 200 and 350 240. That is 07 10 35 0240. Or you can call 07 48 Engineer Ronald Regan here, and uh, you'll be able to do amazing projects. What so, we say at uh, Modi, uh, related is that your dream is our profession. Okay, so bring so, it on. that's so so beautiful. Yeah. So, guys, the, he, he have given his contacts. Make sure if you are watching from those who are watching from Europe, uh, outside Africa, and um, maybe outside the Kenya, guys, uh, he, he have given his contact. Make sure when you are. Taking the con uh, contact hard plus plus two five four. Yeah, if you are outside the country, yeah. so that you don't get confused, is uh, such a good guy and uh, so so uh, determined to finish the, to finish the house, which is so good. It's looking good by the guy, by the way, guys. So ah, uh, that's all about this house here in uh, Onenonam. You know, yeah, so beautiful. How I wish I also have the the money, <laughs> but I know in future I'll build a dream, my dream house like this one. Yeah, the house is giving seventy percent com uh, complete, seventy percent complete, and already is taking shape. You guys, <laughs> the house is only seventy percent complete, and you can see, you can just f see it and feel it how beautiful this house is going to be you see and what 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 uh, important is i like the way it has been built it's very strong the foundation it is amazing yeah so if you want the engineer you contact him and uh, you will get his services
in Onam, Onen Onam village. I'm done with the uh, bungalow here in Onen Onam uh, village. So beautiful flowers. How I wish I could have shown you the village, how the neighborhood, how it looked like. But then I, do, I, I don't want to do that because other people don't like the camera. But uh, all in all, uh, that's all for today. Uh, this is Huko Africa. Remember, if you are new here, subscribe, share the video, and hit the notification button for more video. And for my returning subscribers, I just want to say thank you for the support you people have been giving me. It has not been easy uh, to reach where we are right now. Uh, by the way, we are 2,000 strong. <laughs> the family is growing. Eh? <laughs> so guys, you, if you want to support this uh, channel, because without your support, we cannot do all this. Because imagine I've traveled all the way from Kisumu to Kindu Bay just to give you this content. <laughs> you see? Yeah, so I sacrifice a lot. I also have other things that I'm doing, but I sacrifice a lot just to make sure that you also have the right legit content for you to watch. So if you want to support this channel kindly, uh, I have my contacts uh, at my uh, my Uku Africa uh, dashboard. I do have my PayPal account uh, over over there. So you can support this channel in wherever you from from where you are, outside the country, inside the country. Use the PayPal, or you can also have my contact number over there. So, for those who have been sending some uh, uh, t token for me to use on uh, buying credit or buying, uh, I mean, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, bundles because I'm still using uh, <laughs> I'm using uh, bundles to sometimes I use bundle because I'm using my phone to edit some of the video I don't have the laptop my laptop was stolen remember I told you that one day when I was doing a video uh, during Mandamano or protest in Kenya my laptop was stolen so I'm using my phone to do the, uh, the, 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 the editing part so for those who have been supporting me sending, sending some cash thank you so much I'm so so happy I'm grateful and may God bless you for now this is Uko Africa uh, number one YouTube channel See you in the next video.